are doing what's in my hospital bag for a c-section delivery that's what I'll, I'm doing I'm going to be doing a c-section so that's planned and scheduled and I know it's gonna be a little different from others this is my third c-section and I'm really looking forward to this baby coming I have about three more weeks she's scheduled to come on January 7th if she doesn't come sooner which would be great um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. So here we go. Um, this bag is just an old kind of antique-ish duffel bag. Nothing fancy. Um, especially when you go in the hospital, there's so much germs and stuff. I didn't want to take a nice bag in there and maybe have someone steal it or just to get all funky. I just didn't want that so I actually like antique um, vintage things so this works perfectly so what I have in here because I will be staying when you do a c-section you're gonna stay in the hospital for about three to four days just depending on whatever it's been eight years since the last time the last time I stayed in there for about three or four days um, so I have my like essential bag um, and I haven't really put anything in the front I usually will put my toothbrush and toothpaste in here um, so I'll be doing that before I leave um, and so inside opens up like this and I have um, just a really they're very essentials. They don't have shampoo and conditioner in there for your body wash, so um, you are going to need that. And you will probably take a, a shower, I think, at least once or twice um, because of your incision. So I, you know, as I go to hotels and stuff, I try to just save the really nice ones. Um, so these are just the travel size shampoo conditioner. Um, and I have an Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, there go. And um, I also put some in here for my husband as well in case he wants to shower. Um, my face wash. This stuff is really good. It's a Garnier um, Skin Renew with a brush and it's a gel cleanser. Um, so I use this every other day. And especially when I have lots of makeup on. Otherwise I just use a little um, makeup wipes. So just some more lotion um, and a travel hairspray in case I want to do my hair in there, which, you know, I'm going to wash my hair the day of. Um, and so I'm gonna already have it done, so I won't have to worry about it during, because I wash my hair every three to four days. Um, it's just healthier that way. It's probably even healthier if you go longer. Um, so I'm gonna definitely take my dry shampoo um, and anything else, like a hair serum. Um, here's some Dove. And you know, there's so little, because you're only gonna be in there for so long. You really don't need a lot of stuff. I mean, you're not, like you're going to a hotel and getting all ready and all dressed up. I mean, basically this is just your bare, bare essentials. Um, and so I have um, a shower cap and then just little things like a pad, which they provide pads for you, so I really won't need that. A razor in case I decide to shave my legs because I haven't been able to shave them. Um, Band-Aid, which they all have, you know, I mean, this is just stuff I've already had in this case, or in this, um, little bag, and some floss, um, some more maxis, a shower cap, and yeah, that's pretty much it, besides, you know, I'm gonna throw in a brush and some hair ties, um, my dry shampoo, I'm not even going to deal with a blow dryer or a flat iron or anything like that. Because um, really, I really want it to be less things I have to take out. So that's just the bare bar essentials. You just need the travel size 
shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, um, mouthwash, floss, your toothbrush, toothpaste, um, and so that that's all I'm taking. Oh, and deodorant. Don't forget deodorant. You're going to need that. Um, I'm not taking my own underwear because they do provide you with um, these mesh underwears, and especially for C-section. Um, is way better. You don't want anything pressing upon your incision. So um, even if you were to take your own underwear, it would, I mean, you are just so swollen and whatnot down there. And they give you these mesh undies and um, these huge pads with um, a, like a gel pack that is that size. So that's what's that what that is for. So I don't even bother with um, taking my own underwear. Um, let's see. So you do want to take your own pair of socks. They do give you the socks there. Um, and most of the time I, I do wear them. But, you know, it's going to be in January. So I'm going to take my own. And they're just little socks with the rubbery things on the bottom. Nothing fancy because, again, you're in the hospital. It's, you know, gross. So I have another pair of those, of which I'm going to grab on my way out. I am taking a maternity bra. This is a uh, Jillian O'Malley, which is where I got at Target. So comfy. Um, that I probably want to take and probably will use the last couple days on there. Just if somebody visiting, I don't want to be exposed with the hospital gowns. Um, and I am taking my own gowns. Um, now, they do provide you with the, the hospital gowns, which I probably will be wearing the first day or two. But I decided I'll probably be tired of wearing that. So um, I got this little gown. It's just a very comfy nightgown from Croft and Barrow. Um, I got it at Kohl's um, and it has buttons. That's one thing you want to make sure that you have is some sort of easy access for when you're breastfeeding. Um, it's going to be easy to just pop them out and breastfeed and button up when someone's there. So this, I was thinking um, maybe the second day I know people will want to come over and, and take pictures and so at least they look a little bit somewhat um, nice. Here's just another one. Same craft and barrel. Um, just a regular um, you know, nightgown. It, it does too have buttons. Um, this one I'm not sure if I'll even wear, but just in case. I'm a just in case type of person. And this one I thought might be okay. Um, just because it's easy to pull down and pull up. Um, and it doesn't have a bottom, which I don't know if I'll even wear it, but I brought it just in case um, I decide to. Um, I am bringing my own slippers. Um, I got these at Target just to wear, because I, I know they'll wake you up like in the middle of the night. It seems like every time it's the middle of the night when you're like, in so much pain. I'm like, okay, honey, it's time to take your first walk, and you just want to punch the lady in the face. Like, are you freaking crazy? I just had a C-section, and I just had surgery. So, um, anyways, sorry about that. So yeah, bring your own slippers. And these ones were on clearance, so I have my own slippers here at home. Um, and I'll probably reuse these. I don't know. Just depends on how dirty they get. Um, but I thought it's you know great price and. Um, I'll just use these for the hospital. Um, and then other things I brought. Is um, a nipper, <laughs> a nipple cream from Mother's Love. A friend of mine got this for me from Baby Shower. It's certified organic. Um, this you'll probably need if if you start to nurse and the baby's not latching right, you will fill it and you will need this. 
And anyways, you're going to need it um, just as you are beginning to nurse. Um, they do tend to get dry and since, since um, the weather is cold right now, it's going to be really dry. Um, I, my friend recommended these to me. Um, they are nipple protect, nipple shields, um, which help the flow of your milk to come out um, when they're having a hard time latching on. So it's just easier for them to latch on. So I've never tried these before, and so I'm excited to try those. So um, Tommy Tippy makes these are BPA free, which is great, and again they're um, they're certified organic. So that's awesome. Excited to try those. And then I'm just bringing um, disposable nursing pads. I do have. Um, the washable one that I will be using and I also have a pack of like a hundred too so of disposable pads that I'll be using because I know the first couple of um, days and weeks once your milk starts coming in you'll go through these like crazy so this is just a sample I got um, from Lan Lansino it's stay dry day and night um, and then I have another brand just in case because these only have like uh, whoops, two, two in there. and then these ones um, are from Medela which I have the breast pump it's really great and these have four in it so it, it also gives me an opportunity to see which one I really like um, so that's that as far as breasting goes um, but pretty much I mean, you really don't need anything. I will be taking my iPad, my charger, my phone, my camera, all of that stuff. Um, you know, you're not going to have time to read magazines or books or anything like that, so I'm not even thinking about that. Um, you know, again, less for you to worry about. I am taking a plastic bag for my dirty clothes. I know, it's really fancy, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you just, you know, I don't want to lose anything. And um, also just a little bag in case you have, you know, other things you want to put in there. Because they do give you stuff. They give you a lot of stuff. Um, I'm taking my own pillow, so I have this pillow thing that it came in. I'm going to take that and put my pillow in it. Um, that's one thing I'm going to take. I can't sleep without my pillow. Just so picky about pillows. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have in my bag. I am going to be taking possibly a, a little quilt or a blanket with me. Um, just while I'm in there for extra warmth at night. And um, I'm also going to be taking this big humongous bag. Um, it's like a gift bag my friend gave me for um, the baby. Because they give you diapers, they'll give you wipes, they'll give you formula, they'll give you, um, and you can ask for extra stuff like those mesh underwears and even if you want some of their socks. Um, and then if people come and visit you and they bring you stuff, you have that extra bag to carry all that stuff out with flowers or whatever. So yeah, that's what's in my hospital bag. Very simple, very easy. Because um, like I said, Yes, you're going to be in there for a couple of days, or several days, three to four days, but really you're not going to have time to, you know, run around. I mean, like the iPad, you can, you know, if you have time, go on there and do whatever you need to do, but um, you're really going to be spending your time with the baby and your family and, you know, people coming to visit you, so you're not going to really have time for a lot of things, but I will be taking also a few things of makeup. Something you know, just really simple, like the BB cream and maybe some foundation and uh, mascara, blush and lip gloss, and that's pretty much it. If I decide to take pictures, so yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything I've left out, please leave them in the comments below. And have a great day.